My name is Heather Mincer and I work here at the Osceola County Sheriff's Office. Our job is to collect evidence, document the scene, um, particularly locations of evidence and which this is what we're doing in this case where we found the laser scanner to be particularly helpful. What we needed to do was recreate a scene from a 20-year-old homicide. The notes that we had from the case prior just weren't quite matching up with photos. Some of the photos had been lost um, and we needed to piece this back together so that we could take a jury through the scene and more accurately or as accurately as possible portray to them what the scene looked like and where items of evidence were. This is the original crime scene sketch we recovered from the original case file and as you can see there's not a whole lot of measurements on here. Some simple triangulations based off of vehicles that ended up moving, um, also some telephone poles that are no longer there and the road even itself that was originally there has been moved and it's changed. In using the Ferro laser scanner today, we are bringing the scene into the digital age. We're taking the next step forward in the future of forensics in that we're documenting the scene so that we can recreate it at any time, any place, and we're not stuck with just hard photographs anymore. We can move the scene around and actually work through it and manipulate it to see what pieces of evidence we need to see and where they are in the scene. And that this case is 20 years old and we're bringing it into today's world. Just like DNA has revolutionized the forensics field and become pretty much the gold standard and just exploded all over the science arena, this is just yet another step so that we can find every little piece of evidence and get every little bit of information out of it that we can to make sure that we find justice for these victims. Be the case 20 minutes old or 20 years old, we're going to get everything we can out of it.